Maing adlaw na tong tanan. Are your toes curled up and tight and it is difficult and painful for you to stand up and walk? Then you might want to watch this video. Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm your occupational therapist. And my goal is to help you be more consistent with your therapy at home. Curled up toes are often called hammer toes or mallet toes or claw toes. But there are several reasons why this might have happened to you. It could be a bad joint mechanics or a poorly fitting shoes, or an injury, or other diseases such as a stroke. Um, I also see this on multiple sclerosis patients and even Parkinson's disease. But don't you worry, we will be doing exercises and stretches to correct that if surgery is not an option for you. And if you are ready, follow along with me. First, we need to massage our calf and the sole of your foot. I know the main concern in this video is a curled up toe, okay? But more often than not, the calf is also tight or the structures of your foot is also tight. It goes hand in hand with a curled up toe or a hammer toe, okay? So what you want to do is to just massage your calf very gently. Just avoid the bony prominences or your, your tibia and your fibula, okay? So you can use your hands or your knuckles or a sturdy water bottle. Just go back and forth with your calf, okay? And the sole of your foot. Now, I like using a massage gun, okay? I'm going to link down below a link where you can get one, okay? I'm going to set it to a middle range and just massage up and down your calf for a few minutes. This is very relaxing. I love using a massage gun. It just makes things easier, all right? So just go up and down a few minutes, okay? Some of you might disagree with using a massage gun, but do what you need to do and use the technique that is more comfortable for you, okay? Technique that is not painful or difficult for you. After going up and down your calf, go to the sole of your foot. And just go up and down the sole of your foot. Again, avoid bony prominences especially your heel, it is not very pleasant there, okay? So just massage there. Turn it off. And we go to the top part of the foot and the bottom part of the foot. You just hold your foot like this and you just go up and down, okay? It is very relaxing. And if you can ask somebody to do this for you, go ahead, all right? So just go up and down, gentle pressure. And after a few minutes, let's go to the next technique. After massaging your calf and the soles of your foot, Let's stretch your foot to go point upwards, okay? So it should point like this when we stretch it. So grab your foot and starting from your heel, slide your hand going up to your toes and try to pull your foot up with your toes pointing towards more towards your, your knee, okay? Hold it for about 10 to 30 seconds and then relax go back to the heel and slowly stretch your foot go into your toes do this a few times okay so your toes might curl up again just be gentle with it and stretch so this is the second second technique all right 
So just gently stretching your foot to point upwards. Now, if you want to learn how to gently stretch your foot even more, I'm going to leave a link here, okay? And down below as well, all right? Now let's go to your toes. We will try to stretch your toes by massaging it individually. And you can use lotion or your favorite aromatherapy essential oils, okay? So I'm going to use this one right here. This is not a sponsored video, but I wish, all right? So use your favorite aromatherapy. And again, it is always better to ask for help in doing this stretches and exercises, okay? So, put a generous, generous amount of oil or lotion and we are going to do this individually. Let's start with your, let's start with your big toe, okay? So, grab your big toe and gently straighten it out. Do not jerk it because it will just go back, okay? It will have a rebound effect. So, Grab your big toe and slowly stretch it out, okay? Next will be your second toe. Take your time in doing this, okay? Gently stretch it out, massaging individually, all right? Well, you can do two at a time to save you some time, right? I'll do two at a time. Don't worry, this is not very strict protocol. All right, so massage and gently stretching it to a straighter position. All right, after you do that for a few minutes, try to mobilize each toe. Go in circles. All right, this one you need to do it individually. It will be hard to make or to move two toes at the same time. Yeah, so just one at a time, all right? So go in circles, one toe at a time, okay? So after the massage, we mobilize your toes. If you need to pause this video, you can go ahead and after a few minutes of mobilizing and stretching your individual toes, Go to the next technique. After you mobilize your toes and stretching them out, we are going to spread your toes apart, okay? We are going to use our fingers. So you just bring your fingers in between your toes very gently. Do not come from the top because when you're coming from the top, you are just pushing your toes to curl even more, okay? So you just go gently in between your fingers, all right? in between your toes, rather, all right? So push, 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 very gently. Take your time, all right? We need to spread your toes in order to make them more supple and mobile. Push your fingers until they're all the way through in between your toes, and then pull them out and do them one more time, okay? Do this as many times as you want. Again, you can pause this video, and when you're ready, go to the next technique. Now let's do exercises to strengthen your foot and your toes. So we're going to strengthen the, the muscles from the top of your foot. The muscles at the bottom of your foot are all tight, so we need to counter that by strengthening the top part of your foot and leg, all right? The front part of your foot and leg. So we're going to first do foot up like that okay so foot up or floor tapping if you want to call it floor tapping and we are just going to do this 10 times okay so foot up and down up and down all right let's do 10 one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, and I apologize if I'm going too fast, but you can go as slow as you want, okay? Next exercise is toes up. Make sure that you are putting your foot flat on the floor and we're just going to bring the toes up, just the toes. Keep
keep the sole of your foot flat on the floor, okay? So let's do 10 again. Try your best to bring your toes up and bring it back down, okay? Toes up, bring it back down. Let's do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right? And the third exercise is going to be separating your toes, okay? Spreading your toes apart, okay? So it might be easier if you can bring your foot up like this or up like this and try to separate your toes. Again, this is not a video to judge my foot and toes, okay? So let's focus on the exercise, all right? So spread your toes 10 times, all right? Let's go. One, two, this requires a lot of coordination too. So you can go slow. Three, do your best to separate your toes. Four, five, six, seven, this is hard, eight, nine, ten, and bring your foot down, do this ten times, three sets each exercise. Now we're standing up, we are going to do knee over toes, so knee over toes is just one leg forward, one leg back, and you're going to bend your knee, and when you look down, your knee should go past your toes, okay? So this exercise targets the muscles that are involved in bringing your toe and your foot up, your toes and your foot up, okay? So we are targeting the proximal or the upper part of those muscles. So we're just going to bring your toes, your knee over your toes, all right? So let's do 10, all right? This is two, three. Go as slow as you want or as fast as you want, okay? This is five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, to bring that to the next level, you can use a wedge, okay? I'm going to leave a link down below, all right? Use a wedge. Let's do this for the second set, but try to do this three sets, okay? Ten times, three sets. So, put your foot on top of the wedge to bring your foot up or slightly up, okay? Let's do another 10. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And that is your knee over toes. Now let's talk about orthotics, okay? So there are three things that I would like you to consider to get. The first one are, is uh, toe separators, okay? So I like the silicone ones, especially, this comes four pack. So one like this, okay? And the other one is just like when you go to a nail salon which is just like this, okay? So, let me take that out from the plastic. So these are called toe separators, and I'm going to leave a link down below on all three devices here. So, first one is like this, but I like this one better, okay? So, you put it in between your your toes and leave it on for a few hours if you can so while you are watching TV <laughs> I missed one toe while you're watching TV or reading put this on all right to keep your toes separated 
right? So that's the first device. The second one would be a shoe insert that is specific for your hammer toes or your mallet toes or your claw toes. So get you a good shoe insert to support the structures of your foot in a proper mechanic so that when you walk, your foot will not collapse and curl up your toes, right? So get you a good shoe insert. And the last thing that I would like you to consider is a night splint, just like this, okay? So the nice thing about wearing a night splint when you sleep, this is you wear when you sleep, is that it will give you a good stretch, sustained stretch while you are sleeping, right? This has straps. I have shown this device already. I love a night splint. I always recommend this to my patients, especially those patients who have legs and foot that are spastic, okay? So wear or get you a night splint. Wear this when you sleep and you'll be surprised that wearing a night splint will not only improve your foot and your leg, but also your hammer toes, your claw toes, or your mallet toes. So those are the exercises and stretches that you can do to straighten out your curled up toes or mallet toes or hammer toes or claw toes. And try to take a picture of what they look today and maybe after a week or so of consistent stretching and exercising your foot and toes. And if you find this video helpful, please click on that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. And please consider sharing this to your family and friends who might benefit from this video. If you have any questions or suggestions or comments, just type it down below in the comment section and I will try my best to answer those. And just a reminder, consistency is the key and never give up. Until next time, paalam!